I went back and rewatched some of the bubble series between the Nuggets and the Lakers from 2020, and a couple things jumped out that were really interesting. One, as an aside, LeBron James was incredibly athletic three years ago. Two, in a similar vein, Anthony Davis, look at how light and floaty his movements are, driving to the basket and contorting and floating in little shots, and also making a bunch from the outside. But the strategic components that really jumped out to me were that the Lakers, as big as they were back then, were still switching everything against the Nuggets. And this is not the same Nuggets team that we're going to see in this series in 2023. First of all, Jokic is much better. I think he's a better conditioned athlete now. I think he's smarter. I think he has better touch. And the Nuggets have upgraded the roster. KCP now plays for Denver instead of Los Angeles. But going back to how the Lakers defended Denver, I'm not sure how many switches we'll see at all in this series. The issue with switching, as you can see here, is that when Jokic gets a mismatch, he's going to abuse that in the post. And then if you have to send a double, that creates tons of problems as well. When the Lakers have the ball, one thing that I think isn't going to change is the Nuggets want to avoid Jamal Murray on LeBron James in the post. LeBron still has a ton of power down there, can kick it out and create shots if they have to double team. One more thing, Jokic has had good success scoring against Anthony Davis's length in isolation in the post, both in the bubble back in 2020, but also in their earlier meeting this season, say in December, where he was able to find ways to score around him and still play his game. So I'm really looking forward to this series. I do think it's going to be a challenge to see how the Lakers defend Jokic and this Nuggets offense, but I really don't think it's going to be similar to what we saw a couple years ago when these teams met in Disneyland.